look at now the time to talk about Shabito Uganda e-learning. We are going to look at the internal anatomy of the kidneys, the continuation of the kidney structure and functions. Uh, a front section for the kidney reveals two distinct regions. The outer light re red region called the renal cortex that surrounds the darker reddish brown region called the renal medulla. Uh, the renal medulla consists of several cone shaped renal pyramids. The base wider end of each pyramid faces the renal cortex and its apex narrower end or the renal papilla points towards the renal helium. So the smooth textured renal cortex extends from the renal capsule to the base of the renal pyramid pyramids and into these and into the spaces between them. It is divided into the outer cortical zone and the inner juxtamedulla zone. Those portions of the renal cortex that extend between the renal pyramid renal pyramids are called renal columns. A renal lobe consists of a renal pyramid, its overlying area of the renal cortex and one half of each adjacent renal column. Uh, looking at the internal anatomy of the kidney, we are still continuing. Together the renal cortex and the renal pyramids of the renal medulla constitute of the parenchyma or functional portion of the kidney. Within the parenchyma are uh, functional units of the kidney, about 1 million microscopic structures called the nephrons. So these are the main functions, portions of the kidney. Without them, the kidney can no longer filter and not function well. So look at now, filtered, filtered fluids formed by nephron drain into, drain into large, into large papillary duct, which extend through the renal papillary of the pyramid. The papillary duct drain into the cup-like structures called the minor and major calices. Now, each kidney has 8 to 18 minor calices and 2 to 3 major calices. A minor callus receives filtered from the papillary duct of one renal papilla and delivers it to the major calyx. Once the filtered enters the, cal the calyces, it becomes urine because no further absorption can occur. The reason for this is that the simple epithelium of the nephron and ducts become transitional epithelium in the calyces. From the major calyces, urine drains into a single large cavity called the renal pelvis and then out through the ureter to the urinary bladder. Uh, the helium expands into a cavity within the kidneys called the renal sinus, which contains part of the renal pelvic and calyces and branches of the renal blood vessels and nerves. Adipose tissue helps stabilize the position of the structure in the renal sinus. So this is an anterior view of the dissection of the kidney. You tend to find that path of urine drainage on your right, we have collecting duct. From the collecting duct, we go to the papillary duct, we go to the minor calyx, and then the major calyx, which is divided into two. I look at the renal pelvis, and then the urethra and the urethra bladder. Uh, I can we study the diagram below and try to know the path of urine drainage? First of all, we talk about the papillary duct, the minor calyx, and the major calyx. So, in the major calyx, there is no reabsorption. It also takes place in the, the only takes place in the minor calyx. Now, this is the posterior dis posterior view of a dissection of the left kidney. That's the ma major calyx, renal medulla on your right, uh, on your left, renal cortex, minor calyx, renal capsule, renal artery, renal vein, renal pelvis, and then medial, and then the ureter. Uh, looking at the blood supply to the kidneys, because the kidneys remove waste from the blood and regulate its volume, and ionic composition, it is not surprising that they are abundantly supplied with blood vessels. Although the kidneys constitute less than 0.5% of the body mass, they receive 20 to 25% of the resting cardiac output via the right and left renal arteries. In adults, renal blood flows and the blood flows through the kidney is about 
1,200 milliliters per minute. Members are going to continue the next slide. Thank you very much for watching. That's, that has been Dr. Derek in Gavirako presenting this lesson urinary system. Uh, subscribe to our channel to, and turn on the notification bells to receive more and more new notes that you are going to be providing via this platform. And those who have missed lectures, please feel free to find the, these notes on Shabilite, Uganda e-learning platform at Shabilite, Uganda. Education resource pool. Thank you very much.